В эфире программа 60. Breaking news on Kremlin-controlled TV, claiming Moscow's forces are facing massive attacks in southern Ukraine. Предварительным данным украинские войска. Ukrainian forces attacked with NATO tanks and light armored vehicles. Our army has fought off these attacks. Russia's defense ministry releasing aerial videos like this one, allegedly showing their forces targeting advancing Ukrainian formations in the Zaporizhia region. Moscow also claims to have taken out a modern Western anti-aircraft radar system close to the front line. On a visit to an arms depot, Russia's defense minister urging faster weapons deliveries. The enemy tried to advance today, he says, so this equipment is needed. Let's hurry up. While the Ukrainians have not confirmed offensive operations and CNN can't independently verify the specific Russian claims, U.S. officials have told CNN the Russians are putting up stiff resistance. Ukraine's leadership says they understand their counteroffensive will be long and tough, and they'll need lots of armor to penetrate Russia's defenses. They showed us this repair and modification shop where they fix up mostly vehicles captured from the Russians, including this modern troop transporter. Even with all the Western equipment that the Ukrainians have already received, they still have a lot less than the Russians do. That's why every tank and every armored vehicle that they can get back on the battlefield will be vital for Ukraine's war effort. That includes even seemingly destroyed vehicles like this blown-up armored personnel carrier, the project manager tells me. All this uh, vehicle we can restore and return to the units. Further along the southern front line, the situation in the areas flooded by the recent destruction of a major dam is deteriorating. Ukraine and Russia accusing each other of targeting operations to rescue flood victims. Ukraine's chief rabbi dodging for cover as shells rained down. To bring people here from over the river and the Russian oh, here. The Ukrainians say several people were wounded in Kherson as the authorities continue to fight to bring those stranded to safety.